Hey everybody, it's Tyler here at the Indiana District Championships checking in team number 7457, Super Duper Robotics, Super Duper. That's been looking absolutely phenomenal the last couple of years as well too. Just won Tip of Canoe a couple of weeks ago and looking really solid here at Indiana DCMP. This team is uh, ranked second as we're recording. They're also second in EPA in the state of Indiana as well. So we're so excited to talk more about Super Duper. Take a look at what they have to offer here. A fantastic packaging setup. Just able to score so efficiently. Of course, we'll go through those cycle times we're talking about through their intake, elevator, arm, and talk about some really cool programming and how they're doing current limits coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first team experience and offers high quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. If you're attending championships, come to the FUN and FRC Discord Meetup on Thursday, April 20th from 11 to 11.45 a.m. in Conference Room 360 CNF on the third floor. We'll have games, giveaways, time to socialize, and a chance to meet the FUN and FRC Discord staff. Get a reminder RSVP on the FUN or FRC Discords, and we'll see you at championships. John, let's start talking about some of the mechanical features of this robot here. I want to start out a little bit about your swerve, and then we'll kind of follow that journey up uh, through your arm and elevator and intake area too. Okay, so we're doing what a lot of teams are doing nowadays. We're, we have swerves. Also, we have a one-stage elevator. We have an arm. So our plan was just to keep this robot really simple and and just make it compete very well throughout the throughout the competition. So um, our so our intake is based on a 118's intake for for, for the Everybot. So, so if we can, we're gonna intake a cue, and then it stows in. So the elevator will come out, stow in. That way, to prevent as many game pieces out in the area, so we can't get penalty points. And then we'll we'll shoot the cue back out. Low low score. Yeah. That's mid score. And then for the. For the cube, I mean for the cone, we'll just go cone. And it can also switch its lights to so indicate the human players um, if we want a cone or a cube. So looking at this, let's break down some of this a little bit, starting with your intake on here. So uh, you said you based it off the Everbot. What modifications did you make though to make it your own on Super Duper? So to begin with, we our intake used to be different from this for our very first competition. We did some modifications. But some differences we did was um, probably just geometry-wise to fit with our elevator so we can score high, low, and mid. And talk to me more about your elevator and how that process works for it. Uh, when you're looking at doing uh, from packaging, why what's going with this type of slam to elevator and using a uh, chain uh, for your stage, why was that the best fit for Super Duper? We didn't want to work with a two-stage elevator, so we just wanted to go with a slanted one-stage elevator with an arm because the more sim just more simple, the, the better to, to better drive. One of the things I noticed, uh, I watched your last match on here, is that you uh, do tend to pick up cones that are upright already when I see the human players come out. Yes. Uh, are you able to pick up uh, cones in any other orientation, or are you just primarily an upright cone pickup? So we prioritize picking up uh, upright cones, but recently we realized we can pick up cones like sideways, but we won't be able to score high. So we just pick up, sometimes we just pick up coins that are sideways on the floor to score them low. Let's keep moving on to Adam's going to talk about more of the programming area of your robot, some positional controls. And I'd love to hear more about when we were talking earlier. Uh, I talked about uh, in lieu of doing sensors, you're doing some current limiting uh, on your robot as well. So just talk to me more about uh, how that's working out for your team. Maybe any advice for teams who are looking at doing that as well too, Adam? Um, yeah, so we didn't want to put big sensors on our robot, especially not back, uh, out here on the intake where we'd have to run wires through the whole robot. And if anything went wrong, it would really hurt our intake. So instead what we did is we based it off the current limiting. So after we set our motor settings and everything, we uh, in our commands it checks the current limiting rather than any sensors. So once we peak at about 30 amps, it slows the max amps to 17, so that way we keep a strong hold voltage, but we can't, uh, we don't just run our motor and heat it up, and we also don't, uh, we automatically stow our intake afterwards, which has really helps us stay inside our bumper and uh, preserve our arm. Uh, was there something on your dashboard in regards that you were going to showcase for some of this? Uh, the uh, odometry for the drive. Okay. Um, so for our autos, we used odometry, and we, uh, we do trajectories based off of that, and our gyroscope as well as our limelight. So that has kind of allowed us to make really accurate uh, autos because we decide the rotation and the velocity point to point. 
So we always hit those set points and we can adjust uh, as needed if we're overshooting or undershooting a bit to get to, uh, two and a half uh, game piece autos as well as consistent balances throughout this competition. Uh, yeah, hit Y, because then when we score, we, uh, we, when we drop, we uh, actually go to a safe height so that we can get our CG lower. Yeah, so do you want to, yeah. So whenever we, uh, whenever we score high, we uh, have a safe height our arm lowers back to, so that way we don't end up hitting ourselves on the cube nodes or the uh, cone poles. So that allows us to back out really fast, but keep our CG lower for if we have to hit the bump or the charge station. Uh, so we've avoided tipping at all during our competitions. So j just, uh, I guess, wrap that. So when you're scoring, the arm immediately drops down. Is that kind of the idea? Yes. OK, very cool. So when you're looking at, you know, obviously, that's an interesting way of tackling CG for stuff. Uh, when you're looking at going that route, why was that the best route for your team versus like maybe doing a different material or something like that on your robot? So we looked into things like uh, doing carbon fiber tube or something else, but due to the cost as well as like the added difficulty of making custom inserts for the tubes and things versus just a drilling into a two by one tubing, we chose to go with this and just add ballast. Um, so that way we've uh, gotten our bot, our CG low enough that even when we're fully extended, we, don't, we can't tip ourselves unless we're rotating. Uh, and then as for why we lower automatically afterwards is we wanted to make sure we cleared and we couldn't accidentally catch ourselves to throw off our arm encoder or anything like that that would hurt our set points for the rest of the match. Yeah, I really like that thought process coming through with the uh, with the auto lowering, and, and obviously it's been working out for you great so far. So, uh, Super Duper, thank you so much for taking time. Tell us more about your robot here at the Indiana Championships. Wish you best of luck here, Indiana DCMP, and hopefully uh, even beyond as well, too. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first team experience and offers high quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gd forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.